Hello, uh, Kevin Hawkins with Kaku Kayak. Uh, we're going to do a quick run through of the Wahoo 10.5. Uh, so this is obviously a more compact version of the Wahoo 12.5 that's been on the market for a while. Um, and our goal with this kayak uh, design was to make a compact kayak for those that need a or want a comp more compact kayak that doesn't give up features of a, of a bigger kayak and doesn't give up uh, some of the nicer things with performance. So uh, generally speaking with a, a smaller kayak, you're giving up some water displacement, you're giving up some volume, so you're giving up some capacity. Uh, with the shorter length, you're usually giving up some tracking and, um, yeah, and unless you make it super wide like a barge, you're giving up some stability. So we did a few things with the design of this kayak to, uh, to make sure that we maintain some of those things uh, to give a really nice performing uh, fishing kayak in a compact design. So uh, going right to the bow, uh, we kept a, an aggressive bow on it. We did bring the bow down a little bit so we didn't give up too much water displacement, but it still has a nice aggressive bow that goes through choppy waters and rough waters very well. It cuts through the water like butter, so that it works out really well there. Uh, we took out some of the rocker, so you notice it's got more of a flat section through the middle here. So that takes out a little bit of the rocker. That way it doesn't want to list forward or backward as much. And being a smaller kayak, uh, you know, on the 12.5 we had more of a rocker to give it more maneuverability for a longer kayak. In a smaller kayak it's going to have a lot of maneuverability, so we wanted to make sure we had um, uh, more tracking and uh, also keep it from wanting to list forward or backward with uh, the addition or or movement of the, the weight in, in proportion to the kayak. So uh, with, with taking out some of the rocker, when you stand, it doesn't want to list forward as much. So it gives a nice comfort and stability for standing still in the smaller uh, compact design. Back at the back, we drop the, the keel down a couple inches, you know, to make it just give it a little bit of a deeper keel uh, than the 12 and a half has. That way, with this short, shorter boat, with you're usually giving up some tracking, that helps to make sure it tracks really well still. So uh, performance-wise, with the 10 and a half, with the different things we did in the design, that actually gives it still great stability without having to make it wider, and uh, gives it great tracking, great maneuverability, so it's got a, a really good balance between all of the things. So it is still going to be more maneuverable than, say, the 12 and a half is, um, it's still going to track uh, relatively well compared to the 12 and a half. Um, so it still has some pretty good volume, so the weight capacity on it's still going to be about 375, so it still has good capacity. As for top side features, uh, we still got some nice tie downs here. We got the handles on it, you got a nice paddle holder here. Uh, we got a, a 9 inch round hatch. This is a really good high quality locking front hatch with a bag insert so you still got some in-hole storage and you got a bag storage here uh, to be able to use as well uh, you got 18 inches of aluminum extruded aluminum uh, t-track here 12 inches of the back so you still have plenty of uh, accessory mounting space here with the tracks there we got adjustable uh, select design foot braces on it uh, this kayak is still rudder ready, so you can get the, the upgrade kit to be able to put a rudder on here if you want to do that. Uh, one feature that we did on here is we, we added a pad. So you got a nice pad here for uh, comfortable standing, uh, you know, nice and quiet for laying gear down in there. You're, we still have the same seat from the 12.5 on here, so you got a nice high seat with a reclinable backrest, uh, toolless. Uh, mounting and uh, taking out the, the kayak here. Two nice rod holders, flush mounted rod holders here. You got those 12 inch tracks back here so you can add extra rod holders for you guys that like to carry a lot of rods with you. And you still got the well here for a 30 quart cooler to fit in. So still got a lot of the really nice features uh, in, this, in this design. And as well with all kakus, I always put on the integrated mounting for uh, micro power pole. So you have that as well. Um, I don't know if we mentioned you got the, the removable keel back here as well. So one of the other things we did in design is on the 10 and a half, we really gave it pretty much a 
reverse chime. So this uh, gives it the ability to have that really nice stability without having to go too wide and uh, helps it to track really nice and uh, just helps it to be able to flow through the water really good. So you've got some great stability uh, and performance in a more compact design. So that's the Wahoo 10 and a half. Check one out today. You'll see how, uh, how great this kayak is. Thanks for watching.